Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, we've got Sega B. Ruano playing the Tier 8 US Heavy Cruiser Baltimore. I don't know much about this game beyond the fact that uh, he had a pretty good game. You can see the map is Two Brothers. The mode is Domination, so there are caps to contest. Uh, I presume his radar will be critical to helping finish off the Z44 and Benson, maybe even the Clavier, depending upon how the Clavier player handles the ship. Ah, Fresia Lagata in the Shimakaza. That's a, <laughs> that's a player that uh, I'm familiar with. On a completely unrelated note, some players have thousands and thousands and thousands of games of tier one ships and like to tout themselves as professional World of Warships players. Completely unrelated note. Okay, on the let's see on the map we've got Sagabe, we've got a Palmer, we've got a Massachusetts, looks like it's headed this way. Shimakaza out here, Aland. Buffalo looks like it may be trying to split the difference between Alpha and Charlie. On the far side, USS Black is headed for the Delta Cap, supported by Zhao, Henri, Slava, Jambar, and another Palmer. Segabi appears to be positioning himself to be able to make use of that radar. You can see the kind of violet dotted line around his ship on the minimap. That identifies the radar range. My guess is that the destroyer is probably in that range right now. But I think it's probably a good idea to hang on for just a short while here, get a little bit closer, and maybe even allow some of your buddies Oh, there we go. Now you can get shots over the island. Might be able to reset. No, yeah. oh, too close to the island. That's why I was saying to wait just a bit, but um, still might be able to get some shots around the edge here before the radar goes down. Yeah, that's going to definitely hurt the Benson. Yeah, nice shot. Benson's down about half his HP, and that's going to hurt as well. There's the counter radar. Guessing that has to be from, well, it could be from Worcester, could be from Buffalo. You can see the Alexander Nevsky on the other side of the map. Now the friendly Buffalo is here and fires up his radar. Ah, it was Missouri on the other side of the island that uh, had the radar. Big push by the Reds through the center. It's always interesting, usually laughable, but always interesting. So I could be getting some shots out on the hipper. Kind of surprises that the friendly buffalo is firing at these ships behind the island when the hipper's out there sailing broadside. And Segabi is, at least in my opinion, wisely quieting his guns and just trying to help secure the cap. Kind of stop backing up though. There's another radar. Just three seconds left, so you might as well get the guns hot. Cap secure. It looks like the Bismarck does have guns pointed this way. Balti's fairly tanky as far as cruisers go. And the Bismarck shells are not all that weighty. What are they, uh, 380s? Angling might be able to mitigate some damage here. And the bad guys are, well, they, they push into the center. And I expect that's probably going to be uh, a hot spot here in another minute or so. 
Ooh, Benson makes a huge mistake getting himself spotted. Segabee's tracking guns well. That, that might finish the Benson right there. The ship is on fire. So close. Could have fired up the radar. I think he missed an opportunity there. But I guess if he's continuing to reverse, he might have only had one volley before uh, Benson was out of sight. So flip a coin. That might have been the better call to just hang on to it for the time being. Shimakaze does manage to sink the Soviet Sovetsky Soyuz. Zhao is apparently unhappy with the battleship play. <clears throat> well, someone's generally going to be unhappy with something in pretty much every game. <laughs> Often it's me. Wooster and Buffalo, both sitting center, right in the middle of the channel between the two brothers' islands. And Segebi is repositioning, looks like maybe to help in the middle. So Alond is falling back, got a Pomeran headed toward the center. If Pomeran runs in that channel, I mean, he'll take some damage for sure, but um, he'll be able to tank quite a bit from the Buffalo and Wooster if he decided to do that. And he can get his torpedoes in the action or even ram. Those cruisers have decided to back up a little bit. Now we know right where they are, courtesy of Segebi's radar. So, big picture, uh, the good guys have the Alpha Cap, the bad guys just secured the Delta Cap. The good guys have pushed up quite a ways on the 2 and 3 line. And do manage to finish off the Missouri. But the Palmer that did that gets burned down. Segebi is going nose in here. I think I'd probably stop here, let the Palmer take the lead. And just follow the Palmer in. It's got AP loaded. Good, good, good. Buffalo's position to run, and when he does, don't ground. Don't ground. Be grounded. Well, when he does, what I was going to say is he'd be showing some broadside, but uh, Sega be grounded himself in a position where he can't shoot, so. Good guys down only two ships the Palmer B and the Zhao. Bad guys are now down five ships Missouri, Sovetsky, Soyuz, Bismarck, Z44, and Benson. Bad guys are making a little bit of a push, led by Yamato, followed up by a Pomeran B. I hope Pomeran's torpedoes land. And Pomeran was probably a little disappointed so he could be stopped on the island there, but uh, that's all right. Buffalo is going to either have to continue to run straight where he continues to get shot at, or he's going to have to turn, in which case he'll show some broadside. Wooster might be showing enough side there to get smashed. Yeah, a little bit of damage, not too bad. I think I'd have switched to the Buffalo there, but it's all right. Finish off that Buffalo, Sagabee. Always try to finish off the, the guy that's got the most damage when you can.
That's all right. Massachusetts did it. So I can be switches to AG. And the Zhao is not happy with anybody. There we go. Nice shot, Sagabi. Now, I wouldn't push out here. It's only 15,694 HP. I think I'd just sit right here. The reason for that, Hipper, while it's probably shooting at the Massachusetts right now, could easily switch to shooting at the Baltimore once detected. And would have your broadside. And if the hip player is any good, knows how to aim, then the AP shells, even at that range, would be really devastating. Nice shot, Segami. Okay, so that changes the complexion of things. Massachusetts does go down. I think you got to angle in against the hipper here. His AP hits really hard. Of course, yours does too. You can see the hipper starting to angle in. Olan finishes off the Kleber, and this is all over with shouting. So, because this is liable to end kind of abruptly, Segabi picks up the Bravo Cat. Ooh, nice shot. Citadel on the hipper. Uh, you know, taking a look at the big board. Got a, a detection, a couple of fires, some decaps. Yeah, another citadel, that's a total now of four citadels, finishes off the hipper. 63 shells on target, two incapacitations, a cap assist, a solo cap, as I mentioned, four citadels, three kills, and even a secondary hit. Great game, Sagabi. Really good job. Thanks a lot for sending in the replay file. Those of you joining me, thank you very much. I really appreciate you spending a little time. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.